To prepare a paper for submission with minimal risk of plagiarism, follow these best practices. 1. Exclude the reference section. First, copy the main text of the paper without including the references. References are not typically analyzed for plagiarism because they cite other works correctly and Turnitin and other plagiarism detectors usually omit them. Excluding references also helps ensure that you're only rephrasing the original content. 2. Rewrite in your own words. Go through the text and rephrase it in a way that reflects your own understanding. This means rewriting sentences, changing sentence structure, and using synonyms while retaining the original meaning. Be mindful of accurately expressing complex ideas. Altering phrasing too much can sometimes distort the meaning. Avoid simply swapping out a few words here and there. True rephrasing means restructuring each thought to make it unique. 3. Use quotations sparingly. If you must use direct quotations, make sure they're short and properly cited. Using too many quotes can make the text seem copied, even if they're attributed, and can increase the plagiarism percentage. Whenever possible, summarize or paraphrase the idea instead. 4. Paraphrase key points from sources. When using ideas from other works, make sure to put them in your own words. Break down each concept and express it differently. For example, instead of saying, this study demonstrates the efficacy of X treatment, try, the research confirms that X treatment is highly effective Focus on understanding the main idea of each section and then describe it without mirroring the structure of the source. 5. Reorganize content. Consider reorganizing paragraphs or sentences where possible. Sometimes, changing the order of information or integrating points from different sections can help reduce similarity. Reorganization can lead to a fresher perspective, making the text even more distinct from the source material. First of you need to copy all the paper without reference. Please write the paper in a way that there is no plagiarism. Always rephrase. Then go to Turnitin account. To check a paper for plagiarism and AI-generated content on Turnitin, you'll need access to a Turnitin account, often provided through educational institutions. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. 1. Access Turnitin. Go to Turnitin and log in with your credentials. If your institution provides Turnitin, you should have an account through them. If you don't have access, check if your institution offers an alternative service or request access from a faculty member. 2. Upload the document. After logging in, go to the course or assignment where you want to submit the document. Click the option to upload your document. Turnitin supports various file formats, including Word, PDF, and plain text. 3. Run the plagiarism check. Once the document is uploaded, Turnitin will process it and generate a similarity report. This report highlights text that matches other sources in Turnitin's extensive database, which includes publications, websites, and previously submitted papers. Review the highlighted matches carefully to understand if any part of the text may be flagged as plagiarized and adjust your content if necessary. 4. AI detection if available. Turnitin recently launched an AI writing detection tool. If your institution has enabled it, you'll see an additional report or score indicating the probability that certain parts of the text were generated by AI. Check the AI detection score to see if any segments of your writing are marked. AI detection tools generally analyze the flow, phrasing, and sentence structure to determine the likelihood of AI generation. 5. Review and revise. Based on the feedback from both the plagiarism and AI detection reports, make necessary edits. Ensure that cited material is properly referenced and rephrase any flag sections to be more original and in line with your own writing style. Important notes. AI detection is still an evolving technology and can sometimes flag genuine human writing, especially if it has simple, predictable language patterns. Always double check your work to confirm that it meets academic standards for originality. Introduction and Key Points for a Genome-Wide Analysis Paper The Yabi gene family is a group of transcription factors that play essential roles in plant development, particularly in determining organ polarity, leaf initiation, and reproductive structure development. Named after the Yabi gene in Arabidopsis thaliana, members of this gene family are characterized by two key domains, the zinc finger domain, associated with DNA binding and transcriptional regulation, and the Yabi domain. These genes are unique to seed plants, 
gymnosperms, and angiosperms, and have been extensively studied for their roles in leaf morphogenesis, floral patterning, and overall plant architecture. Key points for introduction in a genome-wide analysis of Yabby genes. To structure a compelling genome-wide analysis paper on the Yabby gene family, consider these major points in the introduction. Background on Yabby genes and their functional significance. Describe the Yabby gene family's critical functions in the developmental biology of plants. Highlight their role in establishing adaxial-abaxial polarity, upper-lower orientation, in leaves and floral organs. Explain how Yabby genes influence fundamental plant architecture, potentially impacting yield, adaptation, and resilience in various plant species. Conserved structure and domains. Introduce the conserved structure of Yabby genes, focusing on the zinc finger and Yabby domains. Discuss how these domains contribute to DNA binding, transcriptional activity, and their regulatory roles in developmental processes. Mention any known post-translational modifications or interactions with other regulatory proteins or transcription factors. Yabby gene diversity across plant species. Emphasize that Yabby genes are specific to seed plants and are absent in non-seed plants like bryophytes and algae. Briefly overview the diversity of Yabby genes across various species, e.g. Arabidopsis, rice, maize, and tomato, noting that Yabby gene family members may vary in number and function across different taxa. Highlight studies where Yabby genes were identified and analyzed across various plant species, giving readers context on the evolutionary significance of this gene family. Functional redundancy and specialization. Address how some Yabby genes exhibit functional redundancy, while others have evolved specialized roles in different plant species. Discuss examples where specific Yabby genes contribute uniquely to leaf, stem, or floral organ development, potentially due to species-specific adaptations. Significance of genome-wide analysis in understanding Yabby genes. Justify the importance of performing a genome-wide analysis for identifying and characterizing the Yabby gene family in the target species. Explain how genome-wide analysis can provide comprehensive insights into Yabby gene family expansion, gene duplication events, and evolutionary divergence. Outline the potential applications of this analysis, such as in breeding programs focused on enhancing crop resilience or morphology by targeting Yabby gene regulation. Genome-wide analyses of the Yabby family offer insights into their expansion, diversity, and evolutionary specialization across. This study aims to conduct a comprehensive genome-wide identification and characterization of the Yabby gene family in. By structuring the introduction around these points, your paper will set a strong foundation, showcasing the relevance and scope of Yabby gene analysis in plant development and evolutionary biology.